life can't put me in a box. I redefine any definition you got. I am the tiger, I'm making steps to the top. The flames are ripping up, you just gotta hand me the rock. Take a seat, you can hit to come. Well, that was nice, just turning that into a bit of a, a jump serve. But it didn't really change anything. Leon comes inside on the four and destroys that ball right into the centre of Lube's defence. Volbic loving the way to describe Zenit Kazan. Just high ball, hit hard, try and stop us. And even the ball into the middle is a high ball. Leon getting that better of the block again. So. Great serve from Leon as he gets the better of Juan Torreira. Zenit up by two. Now they're up by three courtesy of this ace serve. Good covering from Juan Torreira. Well, that was nice, a little quick for him, but not hit hard enough by Candarello and Leon. Having got the ball into transition, then gets the ball through the block. Well, that's a massive serve, which may well have been going long. Wanchero just couldn't get out of the way of it. Torello didn't really know what he did. 124 kilometers an hour. That's harder than some of the spikes we've been seeing. Mihailovic had to put the brakes on with that one. Good up by Verbov. Sokolov's not getting his timing right with his blocking at the moment. He gets wiped again. Zenit fans enjoy that point. Mylov oh, comes straight back with the side out. It's Lube who are. Decent block out. From Leon. from this Milan crowd. Unstoppable at 100. Canelli with almost a carbon copy. And this time it's the Zaitsev blocking the way on the near side. The Italians are rampant in Rowdy Milan. Another huge serve. Janelli remaining on serve and then loading a rocket before Zaitsev put the exclamation mark on it. Simone Janelli with a bomb of a serve towards the baseline and Zaitsev cleaning up off the rebound. Four in a row for the Italian. Zaitsev all the way to the baseline. Did it find the line? No. For an Italian point or not? Let's see. Oh, it more than catches it. 
Their serves have been that convincing so far. Zach Sev down the line to the back corner. With a thunderous bang. Three points. Sui Conan. Zaitsev with the body shot. Deflected up, kept alive by Turbo Porte. But the block there, three of them. The host reached the technical timeout with an 8 4 lead in this second set. Anzani at the set. Zaitsev looking for some payback and delivers it. Italy only four points away from taking a two set to love lead. That's what happens to you when you score on Ivan Zaitsev for a team that didn't expect to be here. Zaitsev! Another Zaitsev zinger. This time to seal the set and to seal it in style. Back set with great accuracy, the hit before the double block could get in position, down the side of the block, and unstoppable for the Libero. Lowry Kermanen in the backcourt. It's another remarkable connection. Zaitsev to set it all the way across court and they get the point. for this one. You can see Engerpath's body language tells us everything, every single time. Block out. Their heads were down. They were feeling the pressure. And now they've come out because they know they have nothing to lose. They're already in the, the bottom of the four qualifiers. They have to perform tonight and Engerpath has started brightly. Setters get their hitters. One on one on the outside. Tight from Hogue. Good from France, they rebuild, and Engerpeth. Okay, this game is not all about hitting the ball hard. It's knowing the situation in the world of this. He knows he's got two on him. There's no gap in there to hit off. It's three or four metres off the net. Engerpeth, one from one, drifting block from Vigras. And that's exactly what we're talking about. Can the middle blockers... Can France just aren't the same team. Tilly and Linnell will be on the sides. They can also play through four. Engerpeth does find a way through. This is somebody who's one of the for that right-hand side of court. The further the, the middle blockers have to move, the more chances they have to put the ball away through the seams. There we go, good start from both sides. And that's what we're going to see a lot of. Lots of middle work, you would think, unless the pass, the first touch, the two weeks, yes. But we're in game five now, and rhythm must be coming back to Engerpeth, and this is his time to really steal the show. Back to Engerpeth, two in a row. He's coming back, he turns to his coach, he's got his fist clenched, he's firing again. Confidence from Engerpeth coming back again. He'll do that all day to you. France now putting the ball into a good spot. Fantastic setting, Tony Uti. France take the lead again over a challenge and Engerpeth needs an ace and he gets one! What an absolute time! 20. 19 down, he rips an absolute rapid fire ace. It's another huge one. Marshall maybe could have left that one, it's gone out.